the Augusta Gandhi or Congress link as the Bharatiya Janata Party would have you believe has just got a little bigger while Congress President Sonia Gandhi has been feeling the heat for the last few weeks and all of today a BJP MP Kirit Sumaiya has been claiming that Rahul Gandhi's close political adviser Kanishka Singh's kin's firm was linked to Augusta middleman Khetan in Hashke Newsx has revealed another curious link Newsx has discovered that Rahul Gandhi had a financial dealing with MGF when the Augusta middlemen were on its and MR's board of directors and at a time when Augusta Westland won the contract for the choppers to be supplied to India to ferry VIPs Newsx has learned that Rahul Gandhi bought two shops in a mall built by MGF and then sold them sometime in 2010 when MR MGF found itself under the lens in connection with the CWG scam. All this can be easily ascertained by perusing Rahul Gandhi's poll affidavits. Here they are in front of me. In this affidavit filed in 2009, Rahul Gandhi says under the heading Buildings Commercial and Residential Shop number 24 ground floor metropolitan mall saket new delhi area so and so valued at 55 lakhs and thereabouts shop number 17 a ground floor metropolitan mall saket new delhi area so and such valued at about 1 crore 8000 8 lakhs 14206 together do the maths ladies and gentlemen comes to about 1 crore 60 lakhs The new revelation raises several questions. First, when did Rahul Gandhi buy properties in his aide's family-owned mall? Second, did Rahul buy the properties, or were they gifted to him by the aide's family? And lastly, does this prove that Rahul's link with Kanishka Singh were more than political? The fact is that while these properties have surfaced in the 2009 affidavit, they are missing. In the next affidavit that was filed. in 2014 and there's also no mention of them in the 2004 affidavit so somewhere between 2004 and 2010 rahul gandhi purchased these two properties we spoke to the current owner of one of these properties mr dhondial and he said that he bought these properties or at least one of them from rahul gandhi in 2010 we asked him what the worth of that acquisition was that deal was he refused to tell us of course he's within his rights to withhold the price but it raises some questions that i just said because rahul gandhi in his affidavit of 2004 said that he'd file income tax of only 18000 rupees 18169 is the exact number and uh, it raises questions of how an individual paying only 18000 rupees for the whole year of income tax could buy properties which he himself has valued at 1.6 crores those are certain questions that need to be answered the bjp of course has concluded that this is definitive proof of a quid pro quo because they say a company was benefited on which the directors were linked over middlemen operating on behalf of augusta and they wanted a favor the story lies somewhere in between we will be putting out the questions the relevant questions to the principal stakeholders here's the news report which sets up the day's biggest development i always like to be targeted He says he's been targeted. With BJP linking his closest political aide to Augusta middleman Rahul Gandhi came out crying vendetta. But Newsx has revealed another curious link. The Congress vice president had a financial dealing with MGF when the Augusta middlemen were on its board of directors. I'm standing at the MGF Metropolitan Mall which is owned by Rahul Gandhi's close aide Kanishka Singh's family. Curiously Rahul Gandhi acquired two shops in this mall one of them right behind me in fact in his 2009 poll affidavit he also mentioned these two shops but he probably sold these shops off after that because his 2014 poll affidavit has no mention of them 
The latest revelations have drawn the BJP who have questioned why Rahul was doing business with his aide when on the board of directors were Gautam Khaitan and Kaido Hashke who at that time were working as agents for Gusta Westland. In fact, we do know that these agents were actually convicted by an Italian high court for paying kickbacks to ensure that Augusta Westland got the contract for 12 helicopters. The Congress and its allies remain in denial. But sir, do you think there should be investigation if there are allegations? I, I don't know the details. How can I talk? Okay. The ED is watching. The CBI is looking after. The court is in the case. Let the truth will come. For the BJP though, it is a clear sign of quid pro quo. We are not ready to take this as a coincident. It is helicopter scam, it is CWG scam, it is HK, it is Gautam Khaitan, Tanishka Singh and Rahul Gandhi. Everything should be investigated simultaneously. Certain by perusing Rahul Gandhi's poll affidavits, the new revelation raises several questions. Did Rahul buy the properties or were they gifted to him by AIDS family? And does this prove that Rahul's links with Kanishka Singh were more than just political? Bureau Report, News X. Well, let's throw this open for debate. Vikas Singh, senior lawyer of the Supreme Court. Also with us, Rajiv Desai, Dr. Subramaniam Swami. Senior Member of Parliament from the Bharatiya Janata Party, Madhu Gaud Yashki, a former Member of Parliament and the National Spokesperson of the Congress, Madhav Das Gopala Krishnan, who's with NewsX, of course. I just uh, want to first set up this debate by asking the political principles, basic questions. Dr. Subramaniam Swami, 